What's going on, Extreme Gang? It is that time of the week again where we start looking at the preview of some of the product coming out this week. The first one is going to be 2019 Panini and Case Football. But if you already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell thing so you're notified when the video goes up. That way you guys will know when we do the giveaways every Friday, whether it's hobby boxes, um, retail packs like Optic Basketball was hard to find, maybe some of the hits that I open up. It could be anything. And they've been pretty good, so check out some of the other videos of the giveaways. That way you get last four or five of them. That way you get a good idea of it. And then also, every Friday night, I lease that code for the store, ExtremeCardBreaks.com, where you can take discounts out. So just go on the website, go say cards for sale, click it, go down to all cards for sale, goes from highest to lowest. All right, let's move past that. Let's talk some encased. So there's two products they do it with, football and basketball. Um, I'm not so much of a fan as I really was when it first came out. Don't get me wrong, the idea is good. I like getting a slab card. What I don't like getting is ones that don't have subgrades on it. I mean, come on now, you guys probably get a discount. Put the subgrades on it. And the other part I don't like about it is getting 8.5 and 9s back. For the price of the product, especially when you see basketball, you can afford to go ahead and make sure we're getting nine fives. I don't care if it's min, true, gem plus, 10, or BGS 10, I got it. But at least do us that much, you know? On top of it, I know not every auto is gonna be a 10, so I got it if it's gonna be a nine on there. Guys are streaky, even the seldom eights. But that's why I'm not a real big fan of it anymore because you know, you pull a big card in St. 5 with a 9 auto. I mean, who really wants that? I mean, I don't. I'm looking for 9 5 10s across the board or 10 10s. That's just me, though, personally. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about this product coming out and the way that the graded cards are. I mean, with the money that we're spending now on hobby boxes, you think that we'd at least be able to get a quality grades on the card from the manufacturer themselves. All right, let's take a look at some of the cards in this real quick. You got your base cards, 100 card base set. You got your autographs. You got some vets. You got some retirees. Good names in there. Of course, they always show the good names on the sell sheets. So, overall, we'll hit the product thing here in a second. You also got your shields. Everybody likes the shields, the Nike logos. You got your RPAs in there, Pro Bowl jerseys. So, it, it has a lot of potential. It really, really does. It's that graded slab card that really, when it doesn't grade well, that makes me think, why do I want to buy this product? Why would I want to go out and spend, I don't know, what is it, like 300 bucks for uh, the Giants or probably the Cardinals in the break of this? I'm just throwing numbers out. I don't know. I haven't really looked. We do have one box. I only want one box of football coming in. We'll open that live Friday night, maybe. Maybe Wednesday now will come live. We'll see. I'm kind of mixed with my days this week, what I want to produce for videos. But we do have one box that will open up live, see how well we do. So this is what we call a sell sheet. Um, you can see these anywhere. So basically you're getting five cards per pack, one pack per box. Inside that, uh, inside the box, you're getting two autographs, one being a graded card, two mem cards, one base or parallel. So it, like I said, it has a lot of potential with the product. I'm just not a fan of getting low quality grades when this card's going directly out from Panini to BGS and back. I mean, I'd be fine for some nines in there, really. But for, like I said, for the price you pay this stuff to see eight fives come back with like nine autos, eight autos, they should ditch that card, make a new one, send it in. Or they should just send two or three of each card in there. You never know because stuff gets damaged along the way too and they have to replace. All right, that's pretty much it for a case. Um, it's not a whole lot, long video, I should say, offhand. I just want to touch base with it, see what you guys think of it. It's always been something that's, you know, been back in my mind about the product. It really had a lot of potential. And then when you start pulling stuff out of there, you're like, oh, man. Or you pull that Kyler Murray, like, from football, and it says 859. You know, you, you kind of get disappointed in a way. You're, you're happy you hit, but kind of have a disappointment. Other than that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Look out for the giveaways every Friday. The only way I will not do a giveaway 
And as if I have a card show that weekend, it's kind of hard with timing and trying to make sure everything's right. So we'll probably hit around 45 a year giveaways. And they did pretty good. All right. Also, don't forget, website, streamcardbreaks.com, where you can buy the singles that I put on there. A lot of the stuff, like I said, is I have over a 1,000 cards I need to grade. So I've been pulling stuff and sticking in the store because hopefully one of you guys can use it to grade better than me. I mean, not all cards in there. I would probably, you know, a lot of the older stuff, grade and stuff like X, you never know. But a lot of stuff I was planning on grading, just way too much to grade, and you guys know the cost of it all. All right, I will see you guys in the next preview. Take care.